Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm gonna to be doing my version of the Barbie look, okay? This has been circulating like crazy along with the latte makeup. I feel like these two trends are huge right now. I'm actually going to see the Barbie movie tonight with my husband, we're going on a date. So I thought I would sit down and actually film my Barbie inspired look. I've got pink nails, I've got an entire pink outfit, and we're of course gonna do pink makeup. This is gonna be my take on a Barbie inspired look. I feel like so many people have been doing their own versions and it's been so fun for me to watch. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I feel like Barbie has a really good mix in my opinion of like being natural, but also like flawless. Like she's kind of born that way, but also has zero flaws, do you know what I mean? So that's kind of the vibe with the makeup. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of mist. This is from Lisa Eldridge, it's the Seamless Skin Skin Enhancing Makeup Mist. And fun fact actually, Lisa Eldridge, her products were actually used on the movie, which I think is so cool. She talks about it in some of her videos and I just think it's seriously the coolest thing ever. So I'm gonna let that sink in for a minute. I'm gonna do complexion first and then we're gonna do like eyes and things, even though I am gonna be using some glitter. Actually, I think I just changed my own mind. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna actually do the eyes first, just in case, because Barbie wouldn't have glitter on her face, you know what I mean? We gotta start in the right order. The eye look isn't gonna be too intense, which is why I was gonna start with the face first, but let's go ahead and do eyes. So I'm gonna start off with the brows. I'm just using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil to fill this in. So my brows are a little bit more defined than what I normally do. Again, because we're using Barbie as the inspo today. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Moira Super Hyped Pigment this is in the shade Take It Easy. It's a really nice baby pink. And I'm gonna use this as my eyeshadow primer today. So it's a nice, soft, light pink. I didn't wanna go like hot pink on the eyes today, but I definitely want some hints of pink. You'll see. But I felt like using this as a base is kind of something a little different than my typical eyeshadow base. So we're gonna start with this, just all over the entire eyelid. We're gonna start to build some dimension into the eyes with this Essence Contouring Palette. I'm just gonna dip back and forth between the two shades. This is the lighter palette, and we're gonna start to create a little bit of a dimension. I want to look very naturally chiseled. Snatural, I think Scott Barnes calls it, where it's like natural but snatched in true Barbie fashion. I'm wanting to have a little bit of pink in the eyes, so I'm actually gonna take a blush. We're gonna take this one and mix it. This is Chateau Rose with Tiger Lily. This is the Laura Lee blush palette. If you're following along, like whatever pink blush you have, but I feel like I want just a little bit more pink on this outer edge, just for a little something. Uh, lawnmower. Okay. I knew for Barbie, I wanted to have a little glitter and these have been some of my favorite glitters. They're from With Love Cosmetics and I haven't actually used the pink one yet. It has like pink and gold. What better time than today? So this is actually, let's see, it's the shade Pink Lady. We're gonna use this. Look how nice. It has gold reflex and also pink, but this is gonna be like the focal point of the entire look. So I'm just gonna pop this onto the eyelid. The best part about these is you don't even need a glitter glue, which is so nice. <gasps> My Barbie dreams are coming alive. I'm just gonna keep adding this to the eyelid, kind of scattering it out toward the edge, so. Pretty. We're gonna do the same thing on this eye. Next, we're gonna do some mascara. I feel like Barbie would have some pretty bold lashes. So I'm just gonna go with my Thrive Cosmetics mascara, and then I'm gonna add some falsies. So I'm gonna really go and ham with the mascara, and then we're gonna kind of exaggerate things with some falsies after. Okay, so I did the mascara on just the top lashes for now. And then I'm just taking a makeup wipe to clean up any fallout under the eyes. All right, now we're gonna move to the face. I wanted to use some more Lisa Eldridge products. So this is the Seamless Skin Elevated Glow in the shade Pink Moon. I mean, come on, does that not sound like Barbie? This one has like a little bit of a pink undertone. So this is her Elevated Glow Highlighter. Sorry about the lawnmower outside. <laughs> but I'm gonna do a bit of this underneath the skin and we'll add some more on top, but I kinda wanna use it all over. Once that highlighter has had a chance to kind of set into the skin, I'm gonna take a skin tint. This one is from Maybelline. It's the Superstay 24 hour skin tint. This stuff is so good. Um, mine is in the shade 110. I just feel like this is Barbie-y, you know? It's a skin tint, but it's flawless. Gives great coverage, but it's like lightweight. I don't know. It feels very Barbie-y. Like I feel like Barbie would buy this, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna buff this into the skin. And you can see like it gives such good coverage, but it looks like your skin. And that's the Barbie illusion, my friends. Barbie doesn't have to try hard to look fabulous. You know what I mean? 
We're trying to copy that. I'm just taking my sponge and pressing that into the skin. I'm actually gonna do a little bronzer first. I'm gonna take my NARS cream bronzer. This feels very Barbie-esque to me because it has a little bit more of a warm tone to it. And so I feel like this will go with like the more natural snatched Barbie situation to not have too many cool tones on the face. We wanna look somewhat sun-kissed and natural. So I'm just using this to warm up and sculpt the face. Okay, I think that looks so nice. I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona concealer. Actually, I feel like Barbie would never have dark circles. <laughs> so I'm gonna take some Milani color corrector first and just kind of bounce that into the under eye area. And then I'm gonna use some Natasha Denona concealer to kind of brighten things up a little bit too. Just down like the center of the face. I'm also gonna do a little bit here, kind of sharpen up that jawline a bit. And then I'm just gonna use my sponge to press everything into the skin. Okay, now we're gonna set the face. Um, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Cupcake Powder just cause it's a little more pink tinted. I feel like Barbie would use a pink powder. Absolutely. I'm just gonna press this underneath the eyes, mainly just setting the T-zone with this because we're trying to look airbrushed and doll-like but in the most natural, undetectable way possible. I'm just lightly pressing a bit of powder over top of the creams, just with whatever's left on the puff. So we have a little bit of setting before moving into our other products. So I am gonna add a little bit more pizzazz to the skin with some of this contour powder from Essence. I'm just gonna, again, mix the two powders using a little bit more of the lighter color, because again, I don't want it to be too obvious of like a contour, but I do feel like I need a little bit more sculpting. There we go. Let's finish up the eyes. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Moira liquid shadow. I'm gonna pop some on the back of my hand so I don't overdo it on the lower lash line. And I'm gonna run this across the entire lower lash line. I just think this would be so cute. Buffed out along the lash line, kind of as our base. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of these two blushes again. We're gonna use that across the lower lash line on top of where we just applied the liquid shadow. And then I do wanna take a little bit of the contour palette because I don't want like a floating lower lash line. I wanna kind of ground it with a little bit of brown. So I'm going back in with that Essence contour and I'm kind of sculpting out underneath, if that makes sense. Ooh, dropping contour palette on my pink clothes, that would not be good. Okay, I'm just kind of like etching out and adding a little bit more definition underneath like that so that it has a little bit more depth to the eyes. I do want to add a bit of um, an eyeliner to the waterline because I just feel like that's so Barbie. This one is from Chantecaille. It's gonna really add to the doll-like eye effect. And then um, I think I'm just gonna do lower lash mascara and then we'll pop on some lashes later too. For lashes, I'm gonna use the Ardell Naked Lashes. This is the style 420. I cut them in half and I'm gonna use them as kind of like half lashes on the outer edge of the eye. I'm having too much fun with this makeup look. All right, I'm just gonna apply some duo lash glue and I'm just gonna wait for that to dry a little bit before applying. And then I'm just gonna apply that right to the outer corner of the eye. See how that just lifts the eyes and adds a little more volume, but it still looks very natural. I'm obsessed with these lashes. They're so good for that. And I don't wear falsies, so. The fact that I love these really tells you something but I feel like it's partially because they don't literally look like I'm wearing false lashes. <laughs> and that's why I like them so much. Sometimes you just need that little extra volume on the corner, you know, and these are amazing for that. All right, for blush, I really feel like there's a certain blush. And I actually said in my last video that this blush gave like Barbie energy. This is the Bobbi Brown Cream Blush in the shade Pale Pink. The way that this looks on the skin, again, if you guys don't know, by the way, this is like my favorite cream blush and they just launched, I think six new shades. I did a whole swatch video if you wanna see it. I'll have it linked down below, but I talked about this shade, which I've had this shade specifically for a while, um, but the way that this formula looks on the skin is insane. Like you guys saw, I set the face with powder, but once you add this cream blush back in, it literally looks like you're not wearing any powder, which is the best because I'm somebody who loves to set my face. I just feel like it makes my makeup last so much longer. But then when you add this back in, it just adds the most beautiful skin-like glow. Is that not the perfect Barbie pink? I can't get over it. So I'm just gonna bounce this onto the cheeks. We're not gonna be shy with blush tonight. We're going all out for Barbie core. I can't even tell you how excited I am for this movie, you guys. I grew up watching the animated Barbie movies. Like those are my favorite, okay? Barbie Rapunzel, are you kidding me? She inspired me in every way. The Nutcracker obviously was the first one. 
obsessed with that one. Oh wait, Princess and the Pauper. Barbie Princess and the Pauper is what shaped me the most, I feel like. All the other ones I really did enjoy, but Princess and the Pauper had me in a chokehold. I can't even tell you how badly I wanted. So I had the Annalisa doll, right? That's her name? I'm pretty sure. I had the blonde sister and then the princess, not the pauper. My sister had the pauper and you know how they would sing together? Did you guys have those dolls? They would freaking sing together. But the worst part was if one of them had a low battery, <laughs> the key would start to change and like the song would slow down. So they weren't as in sync, you know, if one of them had low battery, but the way I loved those toys. And anyways, I wanted the wedding set so badly. I remember like staring at that in Target and I never ended up getting it. <sighs> Do you ever have those regrets like as a kid, you look back and you know, those sets like they weren't the cheapest for me. I mean, I had maybe some babysitting money, maybe. I don't even know if I was babysitting then actually, but I like couldn't afford the wedding set with the prince. Oh, anyway, I still have that Barbie doll. I will never get rid of it. She truly shaped me into who I am today. That movie was everything. Are we seeing this? Are we seeing this blush? Are you kidding? Oh, it's spectacular, you guys. It is so good. I'm just taking a little bit of what's left on the bronzer brush kind of going through and adding a little bit more where I feel like I need some. And then I do want to take a tiny bit of the Elevated Glow highlighter. Again, this is Pink Moon. And I'm gonna take that on a little bit of a brush and just do the very, very high points of the face. We're going all out, you know? Even though Barbie's cheeks are already glowy because of the cream blush, I feel like she would definitely pop on a little highlighter. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. I do want to take a tiny bit of this as well. Actually, I don't think I want liquid. What do I have over here? I'm gonna take a little bit of this mixed with this. This is an old Dior palette. I don't think they make this specific one anymore, but any like pinky toned highlighter that you have, if you're following along, will do the trick. But I just want a little in the inner corner and underneath the brow. All right, in order to make our Barbie lip dreams come true, I'm gonna wipe off any foundation on the lips. And I've been debating like how intense to go on the lips. I feel like Honestly, this eye look could handle a little bit more on the lips. First of all, I'm taking um, the Make It Forever Total Taupe just to kind of exaggerate the size of my lips to make them more Barbie-esque. And here's where I'm stumped because I've got this gorgeous pink lip from Lisa Eldridge, which could be stunning, but I could also use the Bobbi Brown blush as my lip color, which could be gorgeous as well. This one's a little bit more like pop Barbie and this one's more like muted. You know what, let's try this. And if I hate it, I can always go in with the other one. I don't feel like I'm gonna hate it, but this is cute. This is Rosy Shell. Okay, so there's that one. Maybe I'll try both and <laughs> then we can decide. Okay, there's Rosy Shell, cute. And then let's try out the Pale Pink. I mean, I think I need to do this one. Even though it's kind of matchy-matchy with the cheeks, that's what I like about it. And I feel like now I can add a little bit of gloss that I was kind of wanting to use because this formula will be a little bit more like sheer and a little more matte. It's not a super matte formula, but yes, I like that. I saw this and I thought this is Barbie. Plus it's Lisa Eldridge. And since her products were actually used in the movie, I thought it would be perfect. So this is the gloss in the shade Dancing Rose. It's kind of like a gold and pink duochrome gloss, which I think is gonna match the eyes perfectly. I mean, how cute. <gasps> My Barbie dreams are coming true. Oh my goodness, you guys. <gasps> I think this is it. I think this is it. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of my bronzer brush and add just a little more back into the skin, but not too much. I, is this not like, I think this is my favorite look that I've done in a very long time. I am speechless. I really outdid myself here. <laughs> oh, I'm thrilled. Okay, so we have assessed the situation. I feel like everything else looks good. I don't wanna overdo it. Even though it's Barbie-y, I wanna kinda keep it, you know, it's natural. So now we're gonna set the face. What setting spray should I use? Um, I guess I'll use this one, my Surf Proof one, because this will kinda give like a hydrated finish, but it's not going to uh, be too dewy to where it like melts off the makeup. Like it actually makes your makeup last. Plus it smells like coconut, which just feels very Malibu Barbie-esque. Where's my sponge? What in the world? <gasps> How am I supposed to pat this into the skin without my sponge? What the heck? Okay, well, I'm just gonna flip the beauty blender thing over and use that to press it into the skin. I also feel like Barbie would look flawless, but never oily, you know? So I gotta take a little bit of my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just press that into the center of the face because I am actually going out tonight. 
And I don't want like the center of my face to look too crazy at the end of the night. Okay. And then we're gonna set the brows with some clear brow gel. I'm just gonna use the Anastasia clear brow gel. I've noticed that like, it kind of holds a lot of product on the applicator. So I try to wipe off the excess. It doesn't always work, but I feel like it helps just kind of tame the excess product. I feel like Barbie's brow hairs are always very, you know, fluffy. So I'm gonna do a bit of a fluffier brow using the gel. Okay, well this Barbie core look might just become my everyday look. <laughs> It's so cute. I love it so much. Are you kidding me? Ooh, one more thing. I want to add a little bit of fragrance and I feel like Barbie would smell like this, literally. I mentioned this in my favorites video um, last month. It's the Saltaire Pink Beach fragrance. I mean, come on, Barbie would smell like Pink Beach. She just would. Oh, it smells so good. Guys, here it is. Here's my final Barbie look. I'm ready for my date night. I feel so cute in this look. Honestly, it feels very polished, very glamorous, yet still somehow every day for me. Cause I'm somebody who loves to wear glitter on the eyes every day, okay? So it's very approachable, very like ethereal, but a little bit of elements of like Barbie, obviously the pink, but then like the doll like eyes, a little bit of a, you know, more exaggerated lip. I'm thrilled. I love this look so much. I would love to see if you guys end up like recreating this look, even just using whatever you have, obviously, or just show me like your own take, your version of Barbie makeup. I would love to see it. Tag me on Instagram or TikTok or whatever. I have to see it. So if you guys recreate this look, let me know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. I cannot wait to see the movie. Let me know if you guys are as excited as I am for this movie. I don't know why I've been like waiting for this more than any movie in a long time. Like I haven't been anticipating seeing a movie in a while. And it's my first time going on a date with my husband into the movie theaters without my baby, which I think is just gonna be kind of fun to like have an official date night. So I'm thrilled. Anyway, I love this makeup. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.